What's up everyone? The Sly and Sonic fan here, and I just recently saw Sony's latest uh, attempt at a big overall horror movie series, The Escape Room. So the first time I heard, of, uh, I heard about this movie, I was seeing the new Halloween in theaters with my dad, and then a teaser for The Escape Room popped up, and I was like, Huh, that looks interesting. It doesn't look that great, but it looks interesting. And so if you guys don't know what the escape room is, basically five people get invited to uh, participate in this escape room for $10,000. And apparently no one has escaped from this escape room. However, soon they find out that they are actually trapped in these series of escape rooms. And um, if you fail the escape rooms, you die. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the entire movie. And, um, now, if you guys are horror movie fans, you will instantly know, um, you will instantly realize that it, this is basically the same premise as Saw, whereas a bunch of people were uh, put unconscious and then kidnapped and then they woke up in this series of traps that they had to solve or else they died, and that is, this, it's really basically just a PG-13 Saw, <laughs> When you think about it, so yeah, that you, you like as I went with the movie, I couldn't help compare it to Saw a little, but uh, yeah. So now let's talk about the characters and slash the actors. So the actors do an okay performances. There are a few slip ups here and there where you're just like, yeah, no, that that doesn't feel like a real person, but. Uh, yeah, still the performances are serviceable and the characters um, are pretty one-dimensional. Like they, they really are. You have this um, black dude, I forgot his name, he's just like, you know, the, the really rude every man for himself type jerk. And then you have Mike, the gullible, loving, really fun dude. And then you have um, Danny, the nerd who loves video games and is really smart. So, yeah, all the characters aren't really complex, and they are extremely one-dimensional stereotypes, but they were alright for the most part. And so, one thing I want to talk about is the escape rooms themselves. So, the first three escape rooms are actually not really scary, but they're pretty neat. I like how all of them work, especially the third escape room, which is by far pretty much everyone's favorite escape room. And then after that, the escape rooms really die down in creativity. There's really nothing, there's, there's no cool things in the escape rooms. It's just basically escape or else this simple thing will happen. So yeah, I thought that was pretty stupid. And uh, this movie did leave off in a pretty funny cliffhanger. Like, oh my god, they can't be serious. So yeah, that's just what that was just my quick thoughts on the escape room. I think it's basically a PG-13 saw with an interesting premise. However, I felt that it could have been delivered better, um, and there should be better characters. But in the sequel, hopefully they will improve on these things. You know, if there is a sequel, I don't know how good this movie did at the box office, but I can tell from the amount of ads that's popping up everywhere that Sony really wants this series to be a thing. So if there's a sequel, then I will make sure to cover that you know if i'm there to cover that um so yeah um everyone i hope you guys have enjoyed if you haven't please oh my god i am a dumb butt <laughs> i forgot to give my rating on the movie um three out of five could use some further improvements but overall okay but yeah everyone i hope you guys have enjoyed and i will see you guys next time peace everyone